A year ago, I reviewed a 4-inch rotary table from Viva. Since then, I have used the tool several times with pleasure. But last week, disaster struck. The rotary table fell off a table and hit the floor with a dull thud. Completely my own fault. Closer inspection revealed that the gear was cracked, making the table unusable. I tried to make the gear with six pins usable again, but at the position of the crack, the deviation was much too large, about half a degree. So I decided to make a new gear. But I had a problem. How do you do that without a reliable rotary table? I do have a very accurate digital level, but because I have to set the table at an angle of 3.6 degrees while milling the gear, using a level while cutting the gear becomes very problematic. So I decided to try a trick using a smartphone as a 20 times magnifying glass. I tried to adjust the table as accurately as possible to the degree markings, while checking the rotation angle with the electronic level. The deviation found remained within an arc minute. That should suffice. Now I can cut a gear using only the scale markings on the table. And with the help of the magnification, it should be accurately enough for a usable new gear. One arc minute of circumference on a disc 10 centimeters in diameter is about 14 microns. So, let's make that gear. To maintain alignment as best as possible, the workpiece remains in the four-jaw chock. Tilt the router table 3.6 degrees so that the tooth angle matches the worm gear.
Here you can clearly see how thin the wall of the gear is. The material is also very coarse in grain. It is not surprising that this part failed quite easily. Five micron and 35 micron too big, a difference of 30 micron. Warming up the gear to 220 degrees Celsius, so light yellow should be more than enough to slide the gear over the axle. that rotates very smoothly, much better than with a defective gear. But now comes the exciting part. How accurately does the rotary table rotate with this new gear? Well, that actually disappoints me. I had hoped for a maximum error of plus and minus an arc minute, but it turns out to be three to four times as much. One of the reasons for this would be the gear that is actually much too small. Every tiny error in it is magnified on the circumference of the table. An error of four arc minutes on a disc with a diameter of 100 millimeters results in about a 60 micron error on the circumference. That is too much for my liking. I fear I will have to look for another 4-inch rotary table. Tips for a good and affordable 4-inch model, preferably with a worm gear combination that rotates the disc 4 degrees per turn, are very welcome. That's it for this time. See you soon.